Auburn two four seven. You, you look at the first three games now, this three game sample. What what stands out to you about the pass rush for you guys, and and where, how do you guys take the next step in, in, in getting better as a as a defense against the pass? Uh, the first three games, like the first two teams, they tried to get the ball out quick and use chippers on the edge and double team the two middle guys. And Penn State, they passed the ball, but like they really ran the ball a lot on us, so they really didn't have to use the pass that much. And uh, we just got to still create ways to get to the quarterback and look at the film and uh, every little thing we can get to uh, get to the quarterback, we just got to do that. Is it frustrating when you look up and see the sack total number for you guys as a defense? Yes, sir, because like we got uh, we have as a defense, we have a goal for having a session one of the year, and like we're not accomplishing that right now, but I feel like. We got the guys that are going to get to it and, and keep working. Like, we're not going to give up on that. So, we still got a high standard for sacks, and we're going to get that by the end of the year. Tom. Mark, uh, Tom Brady, you mentioned that sack goal. Can you share that with us? Uh, it's supposed to be 60 sacks on the year. So, we're supposed to be getting that. Uh, through st st statistics and like Coach Med, uh, he put that goal out to us. And he he asked us like, do we think that's gonna be accomplishable? Accomplishable? And we were like, yeah, it's, it's supposed to be. We're supposed to be able to get that. And as a defense, we set that goal, so we we are uh, trying hard to get that. What's kind of the message been after you know kind of that slow start with the pass rush? Then? Uh, just keep working and like go to go back to the drawing board to what what we did last season, get to the quarterback. What, what can we use this season to get to the quarterback? So, going back to a drawing board. Brian. Yeah, uh, Marcus, uh, Brian Matthews, com. The 245 rushing yards, does that surprise you that team was able to do that against your defense? Uh, yeah, that's surprising. Uh, pass out of Penn State, but like a lot of that was caused on ourselves, like uh, misfitting gaps and not playing in the right gaps and not playing the sound technique that our coaches taught us. So, uh, Penn State did a good job, but I feel like if we do the little things, Right, we'll stop that, and it's just the little thing that a, run, a big run can it can cause a big run. So I feel like we uh, went to practice this week. We uh, looked at the film Sunday, and we seen how close we were to like stopping them. But I feel like we uh, fixed those mistakes and going on. We're gonna be better. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm doing good. How about you? Man, I'm good, bro. You here, right? Uh -huh. Just can't complain. But um, what have you seen with Holden for being the freshman quarterback? That man can zip it. Like um, the first the first week he was on scout team and he was just dotting up receivers and he he's a pretty good quarterback and I feel like as a, uh, his time goes on that army he's gonna be very great and he has one of the best balls I've seen. So I feel like he's gonna be great. Do you feel like he's a guy who I know it's hard to play as a freshman in this league. Do you mm -hmm. feel like he's a guy who, if given an opportunity, he could step into that role? Oh, most definitely, I, I got uh, tremendous confidence in holding it. Uh, the way he carries himself, he carries himself like a pro already. And he uh, stays out to practice with uh, guys like Jaquez Hunter and different receivers and pass the ball to them. Like even out to practice, even though he's not playing right now, he still does those type of things. And and there's, those things are not overlooked by the veterans on the team because like we see that he wants it, and uh, it don't matter if he's playing right now or not, he's still gonna work. So yeah, I feel like he's gonna be ready whenever his time comes. Anybody else? All right, thanks, Marcus. Marcus.